Hey folks, this is Don from Elastic Strength, and this video is about leg exercises you can do with body elastics, resistance bands, and a power rack. So to do these uh, exercises, your power rack has to have an attachment for the body elastics bands at the front of the power rack, as shown. It's an eye bolt with a carabiner through it. That's a one inch inside diameter carabiner. Now for these exercises, your power rack also has to be either weighted down with plates, as mine is, or it needs to be attached to the floor because you're going to be attaching the bands to the lower part of the uh, power rack and those bands will be pulling up on the rack. And if it's not bolted down to the floor or weighted down with weights, the rack is going to tip over. So don't do this unless your rack is weighted down or bolted to the floor. And you also need this platform. It's two two foot long two by fours with six one foot long two by fours screwed to the two two foot long two by fours so it creates a channel between the two two foot long two by fours though that's where the bands will be passing. So you also need a brute belt. My review of the brute belt is linked in the upper right hand corner. I also have a review and information about the brute belt on my website, elasticstrength.com. And in addition, you need two carabiners with a one inch inside diameter so that the head of the body elastics bands can pass through the carabiner. This is, these are not the uh, carabiners that come standard with the body elastics bands, so you can get them at a Home Depot or hardware store or whatever. So let's start with the split squat. You take the band and attach it to the power rack as shown in the previous photos. Then you have the platform right near the band and you attach the bands to the uh, carabiners on the side loops of the brute belt. Now that the bands are attached, you can stand up. The bands are attached to the rack. Now if you have strong bands on, like I do in this video, the power rack will be pulled off the floor if it's not securely attached to the floor or weighted down, which mine is. Then you get in position for the split squat. I have a frisbee under my trailing leg that could be a furniture slider. Either way, a furniture slider or some smooth object that will glide smoothly across the floor underneath the ball of the foot of the trailing leg. Use a slow controlled motion as I'm demonstrating in the video because you are not trying to demonstrate your strength. You are trying to do something to the muscles with the resistance that is to fatigue them. And a slow controlled motion creates more tension greater force development in the muscle with a slower motion which results in greater fatigue in the muscles with less resistance with less external resistance so just continue to do the split squat I hold on to the power rack just to keep balance out of the equation and the bands pull you into the deep squat position and then you push smoothly out of the bottom position. When you cannot stand up, you're done. That's the momentary muscular failure. Switch the slider to the other foot. Put the, in this case it's the right foot on the platform. I started with the left foot as the base foot. Now do the same motion on the other leg. Slow controlled motion means deeper inroads into the muscle and better results from the exercise with less external resistance. So, and a reminder again, the power rack has to be securely attached to the floor or weighted down or Every time I would stand up, 
the front end of that power rack would come off the floor. Slow controlled motion. Now we come to the last repetition. I cannot rise from the bottom. Just let my knee drop to the floor. Bring my other leg back. Then detach the body elastic bands from the brute belt. As you can see, unloading this is a little bit challenging. It's not unsafe, but it takes a little bit of uh, flexibility to get into a position that takes the uh, stretch out of the bands so that you can loosen them. Now let's do Cossack squats. Okay, for the Cossack squats, you're going to attach the bands to the brute belt in the same way. You use the side loops on the brute belt with the carabiner, attach the body elastic bands to the carabiners on those side loops. Again, the power rack has to be securely attached to the floor or weighted down. All right, so get into the Cossack squat position a little bit outside. Just get the right distance. That's what I'm doing here. It takes a little bit of uh, juggling to get to the right distance away from the rack. And then do your Cossack squats. Band resisted Cossack squats. I like these a lot better than barbell resisted Cossack squats. But you got to have the right set up on your power rack and you can't do this just anywhere. Cut out the middle of the set, coming to the end. I generally do 20 total repetitions, 10 on each side with a slow controlled motion as you saw here. It takes about uh, three to four minutes to do the whole set. Now dismount, just bring your legs together, squat down, get the slack, get some slack in the bands, and then you detach the bands from the brute belt and you're done. Finally, let's do Sisyphus squats. So the, I'm sitting on the platform attaching the bands to the carabiners attached to the side loops on the brute belt. I'm inside the cage. Now we do the Sisyphus or sissy squat. I'm using the cage for balance. Just lean back. You may not be able to go this low or you can do the upright full squat, the full heel squat, which I've demonstrated in other videos on this channel. Basically, you just squat down on the balls of your feet, standing upright. Either way, that would be the easier way. This is the more difficult way. You can't use very much band resistance. I'm only using the Body Elastics yellow band in this video, uh, which is the lightest Body Elastics band, because they're taking advantage of leverage. So if you do this exercise, you must use a slow, controlled motion. Do not drop into the bottom position you can damage your knees if you do. This exercise is safe if it is done in a slow, controlled fashion as I'm demonstrating in this video. You reach the bottom slowly and you turn around slowly. Do not bounce. Do not use momentum to come out of the bottom and do not drop into the bottom. When you get to the top, do not lock out. Keep the tension on the muscles. And when you come to momentary muscular failure, you just detach the bands and walk away.